What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Twine Eagles 215, and I'm reporting back at y'all with another video. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, and you've never seen me before, stop what you're doing and smash that subscribe button right now. Thank you, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you can, smash that thumbs up button, guys. Help me get this video to 25 likes. Like I said, smash the subscribe button. I'm on the road to 1K, and I would appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button. Leave your comments down below to let me know what y'all think. Now, basically, we pick up the fifth-year option on Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett is our defensive end. Now, Derek Barnett coming out of college was very, very good. He was a monster. Um, you know, uh, he was a person that, you know, we had very high expectations for, and we knew what he could do. So he broke Reggie White's, I think, sack record in uh, college. So we had a big upside of him. And like I said, we expected a lot from him. So we go ahead and pick him up. And he comes in 2017 and gets 6.5 sacks, which is awesome. Then in 2018, he gets 2.5 sacks, which that year he was injured, okay? So 2019, uh, he gets five sacks. And all together, four, uh, 14 and 54 uh, tackles all together, which is not bad numbers. You know, yeah, I think he had two forced fumbles or something like that. So the numbers are really not bad. It's just the point that, you know, what kind of what we got is uh, sometimes that position can be like, a, you know, it's, a, it's, it's hard because we had Vinnie Curry over there. And, you know, Derek, I think we picked Vinnie Curry up because Derek Barnett wasn't, living up to what he was and you know a lot of things was happening with him and we liked him but he was hurt and then he came back and then you know he played but he just you know I need to see more from him I want to see more I want to see that that 2017 you know the Super Bowl Derek Barnett that I want to see that year this is the year I want to see I want to see this year, you know, because, I mean, he has the potential. He has the motor, you know, he's very, he's very good. He got like a, a, a bend kind of, he's good with a bend kind of move. And, you know, he's very good at getting at the quarterback. But we need more from Derek Barnett. I need to see him basically put up some more stats, stay a little bit more healthy and I need to see him be more disruptive in games. You know what I mean? And that would help out a whole lot, you know, to me, you know, I'm glad they picked him up and I'm glad that they, you know, basically not letting him go. Cause the dude is a monster, but it's just like when you have high expectations for a player and they're kind of like expectations is here. And then they're kind of here it's like it kind of gets on your nerves and it's aggravating because it's like, where is the guy that we seen in college? Or where is that guy we seen in 2017? And he's kind of been, you know, in and out due to sometimes injuries. You know, of course, he had injuries in 2018. And, um, you know, that kind of held him back from, you know, being able to put up good numbers, of course. And in 2019, I think he was injured too and it's just sometimes you know if you're not on the field you can't produce but as long as he um stays healthy and keep doing what he's doing I'm fine with this signing I like the signing I wish him the best of luck and I just want him to go back to being that old dog Derek Barnett the one that we're used to seeing so this is a short video guys not too long let me know what y'all thought about the Derek Barnett contract pickup Leave your comments down below. And if you made it to this far in the video, I greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to always smash that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 1K. I appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. And it's always fly equals fly.